Well, first of all, congratulations. I think you did a top-notch job on this. And I honestly don't know how you visualized that Nick Cage and Jay Baruchel were going to have that amazing chemistry. What a great combination they are. It's shocking, and they come from such different places. But they're both kind of um, interesting rebels. Sorry, are we... Good. Oh, okay. Let's go and shoot it again. Do that again. Let's do it again. Do you have yeah. editors? Yeah. I know. Well, I, I run this stuff full sometimes. Okay, too, go. Do it let's again. try it again. Uh, congratulations, top-notch job on this film. And I wanted to ask you, how did you visualize that Nicolas Cage and Jay Baruchel from Montreal they were going to work together so well? The, you know, they're both kind of rebels in their way. Jay is not your average, typical, mainstream, popular kid. You know, he's a bit of an outsider, and certainly so is so is Nick. And they both have kind of an anarchistic view of the world, and I think they got along great as a result. Well, the chemistry is instant on screen, and I wanted to know what it was like for you when they, you know, when the first time you put them together and you saw them work together. You know, you, you, as a director, you worry about it, you think about it, you want to know, you actually care that they get along personally, that there's not going to be tension and stress yeah. on the set, and no one's going to be a jerk to anybody else, and you think, okay, all these are nice people, I know them all, so they'll be fine, but you know, you never know who's going to rub someone the wrong way. Sure. Um, and then you want to make sure that their acting styles, that their sense of humor mesh, that everyone feels like they're in the same movie. You know, sometimes you're like, this guy's in that movie and this guy's in that movie. and <laughs> So that's sort of like what I got to do is make sure everybody's playing in the same sandbox. Yeah, and what was your impressions of Jay? I mean, this has been the year of Jay Baruchel, my God. He has been everywhere because he's really good and everyone's like discovering him right now. That he's, first of all, he's the, the best thing an actor can be, which is smart. He, he gets it. He knows where the joke is, he knows what the story is, and he knows how to find details in the character. Um, it's funny, I don't know how much Jay likes acting. Hmm. I, I think some of it is, is, is difficult or annoying to him. He, he, he's inherently very shy. Um, even though he has a performer's mentality, I don't think he has a performer's personality. Um, and so it, it, it's always odd with Jay that you want, you want to let him feel free, but you don't want to push him too much. Yeah, well, he did, a, they, like I said, did a terrific job together. I think you've got a, a major franchise on your hand, by the really? way. Really? I really do. Oh. I felt it the whole time I watched it last night. I really do. Um, have you ever been wrong? I've never been wrong. Really? I am never wrong. And ask my husband that. I'm never wrong. Okay. So, okay. So I have to ask you about the special effects in this because they were seamless. I mean, they were just phenomenal. Oh, were you, when you, you know, got into the editing suite, were you scared out of your wits like that? You know, I don't know how you pulled this I off. I was scared we wouldn't finish is really what you're scared of. You know how much you have to do. And you are scared that you start with all these great ideas and everyone says yes. Yeah. And then you start looking at things and there's a, it's a lot of no that <laughs> you're seeing. Like, oh, that dragon doesn't look like a dragon. That's kind of like an iguana with the bad hair. Um, <laughs> and you go back, you do it again and again yeah. and again. Sometimes something just is instantly good. You know, we bring the Wall Street Bull to life at one point. Yeah, I'm probably I giving mean... away the ending, but um, spoiler alert. Uh, <laughs> It, 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 it took one try to get that to look good. Wow. Other things, you just you can't ever figure them out. And what does a plasma ball look like? Right. You know, I uh, and changing, you know, just the, the car changing and that the chasing in New York City. I mean, wow, it really does. The does hardest matter. thing, I think, in some ways, for any art is when you have no limits. Yeah. You need boundaries, so you know what the framework is. It's like for an athlete, you know, the way to excel is you have to have rules because then you know what you're trying to excel at. So we had to set rules for ourselves, you know, just how big can these effects be? What, mm. what it, are the limits to uh, a sorcerer's power? And within that, that guided how we did the visual effects. Yeah, it's top notch. I, I really, really enjoyed it. I, I don't think I've told you enough in this interview, have I? Could uh, you ever <laughs> tell me enough? Seriously, <laughs> okay. I'm a guy. I get it. I understand. Now I have to ask you this question because you, of course, ensconced into the Jerry Bruckheimer family, of course. Now, one of my favorite all-time TV shows is The Amazing Race. I mean, I okay. never have missed an episode ever. And I wanted to know when I can. That makes you kind of lame, sort very, of, doesn't it? Uh, no, not at all. You have nothing else to do on Sunday. I don't even want to tell you how much. Television, really? I watch aside really? from all the movies I watch, but and I've got two kids and I'm married for you, yeah. anyway. But I have to ask you because I'm going to convince Jerry to do a celebrity amazing race. I think we're due for one. Who would be your partner? Who would you want to partner up with? Uh, that's a great question. Do I go for the athlete, super smart guy? You know what I would do? I would take um, someone who has many multiple language skills, 
Um, and if, uh, I don't know, maybe I would go with my wife because we just don't get to spend enough time together when we're working. If you, we did that show, we get to see each other every day. That's and true. if we lost, so what? We'd have fun. Yeah, that would be good. But, but did either of you bungee jump, though, or eat gross food? Could you do Not it? Not so much with the gross food. That's always a... Uh, yeah, yeah, she is. My wife grew up in Africa. Okay. She's eating rat on a stick. Well, there you go. No you, joke. She's a good partner. <laughs> well, she's the one. <laughs> congratulations on this, Tony. All right, thanks so really, much. Really, really great. Thank Yay. you so much. And by the way, I loved Harper's Island, too.